Welcome back to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Manti. There is a farm, a private residence in Monmouth County that has a private collection of memorabilia and antiques that is unsurpassed. And our Kimberly Kravitz can give you a peek inside. Larry, what's old is new again. While these farm animals may be what catch your eye as you drive past Clover Hill Farm, what you don't know is that there's a hidden treasure 30 years in the making buried behind these red barn doors. There's a lot of history here. I know every piece, where I got it, how much I paid for it. As we head inside, this expansive assortment of antiques and collectibles cover virtually every inch of these barns, from the vintage lamps hanging high on the ceiling all the way to the tractors and motorcycles parked down below. Pretty much everything here is 100 years old, goes way back, 150. We love to show it, and here we are. Former mayor of Wall Township Don Corson and his wife Barbara have been expanding their endless collection of historic treasures for over 30 years. What are some of the things that you could expect to see here? Every room is different, and uh, as you can see, we probably got 25 motorcycles here. They have a lot of history to them. A lot of them here have less than 300 miles on them. A lot of them are Hondas. We got some Harleys in here. Everything in here runs. We've uh, worked on it to the point where uh, it runs, and uh, here we are. Where do you get your items? We get items uh, probably out of three or four states. We travel through New England, Pennsylvania a lot, and there's actually a lot in New Jersey. This is a replica of a Concord coach made in Concord, New Hampshire. Uh, we would go back about 180 to 200 years old, but it's two-thirds scale, but it's only a few years old, but it's identical to a Concord coach, the most popular coach made in the country. As you scan the room, you will find little tricks and trinkets, but the first thing to catch your eye as you walk through the door is certainly the rows of red tractors working, licensed, and ready to go. This is a whole row of tractors here. They're all antiques. They all run. All these red tractors are 1953s. The six or seven or eight that's yep. in front of us, they're all the same make and model? All the same make, not model. They're all different models, but they're all made McCormick Farmall. See these three red tractors here? They're all 19, they only made them five years. They're 47 to 53, and they're made in Canada. And this one right over here is a Cockshot 40, and I bought that brand new in 1953. And if you look on, there's a picture there of me on it back in 1952. You can see that Don Corson had a passion for mechanics even at a very young age. And now he's passing the hobby down to his grandchildren. I love it here. There's nothing better than coming down to my grandparents. I've been coming down here ever since I was little and it just is so much fun. It, it just grows on you and it's something that you'll never forget. Don't you feel like such a small person in this big room? Yeah, there's yeah. everything here. When you look around, I see something new every time that I come down. Is that a carousel? Sure. Mm -hmm. This is a Buster Brown uh, carousel that you would see in, in a shoe store probably 75 years ago. And uh, you'd bring all your kids in and while you're being fitted with a pair of shoes, the other kids could be riding on this carousel. While the ponies on the carousel may be make-believe, Don has an entire room devoted to real, although no longer living, animals. Don't let the pets here at the Clover Hill Farm see this room. What's one of your favorite few items in, in the place? Um, I'd say the taxidermy room that he has. I just love seeing all the animals and like we weren't expecting to come back with all this. He was going for one and came back with many. One area that is sure to drill a spot in your memory is this vintage dentist's office with every single piece preserved and in working condition. All the tools are in it. I have it all hooked up to electric. If the water was added on, I could fix your teeth. Don is like a walking encyclopedia, chock full of information that the average person may never know. Well, if you had a cow, this is 80 years old, but if you had a cow and bring it in here and you could uh, put this right on in three to four minutes, you'd have this bucket full of milk and you're ready to go. And in case you were wondering where the term horsepower comes from, Don will tell you. You know, what we're looking at here is a, a one horse treadmill. And as the uh, one horse stood up there, he could stand there for three and a half to four hours and he would just keep walking. Or they also make one that could be twice his size and it would be a two horse, a two horse treadmill. And that's where the term horsepower came in your car. You might have a car with 185 horsepower, but this is where the term horsepower came from. 
The most impressive aspect of the museum on Clover Hill Farm may be that each and every item was carefully organized by Don himself. I guess I have a knack of that. Uh, it does. So we get more compliments on that. How, why does it look like it's so natural? Everything has a place and it's all categorized and like I don't know anyone that's more organized than he is. Do you ever have a hard time figuring out what you want to use in your own home rather than keeping it for show? No, because in my home, if you want to go in, I'll show you we have as many in there. <laughs> <laughs> So as you walk through decades in this antique collection, it just goes to show you, you'll never know how far your hobby can go. In Wall Township, I'm Kimberly Kravitz, reporting for Jersey Matters. All right, thank you, Kimberly. When we come back, my commentary on the Mueller report.